Welcome to Act Notes, your main source of defense acquisition related information and news. My name is Bert, I'm the creator. Today, I wanna to talk about a question I get, not a lot, but I do with it with on my website, is really what's the difference between a justification and approval and a determination of findings? So I'll try to walk through that a little bit. Really, it's rooted in the Competition and Contracting Act. And the Competition and Contracting Act really establishes the need for a JNA, unlike a FAR. And it's really focused on procurements that are sole source driven. So if a contracting officer believes that the procurement is going to be sole source or there's justification for that, they meet like the seven rules of it, they will initiate a you know, justification approval that based on the Competition and Contract Act. Now, if it's just a normal contract action that you know the variety of vendors could do it, the FAR calls out a contract officer must do a determination and findings for that, you know, figuring out you know what's the facts of you know the contracting environment, so on and so forth. So, even though they're kind of both the same, the JNA might be a little more detailed in its approach to determining what's you know you know, there's only one contractor to do that. They're both kind of giving the contracting officer the same type of information. So overall, basically, a, uh, the difference is the j &A is more for a sole source procurement. If you like these little tutorials, make sure you click the like button and subscribe below. Thank you.